have a, I have a question. Yeah. How often do people scream, um, slap the bass at you? <laughs> I think in India it's more like um, every time they see me on stage, there's that song. I don't know if you guys have heard that uh, Madhuri Dixit danced, it, uh, did a little dance there. Maybe probably uh, did. Probably. Um, her name was Mohini in there. So people just start screaming. Like, oh, oh, they start doing that because her name Mohini. Mohini. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And then the second thing, what people do now is baby go base. What's it in there? That's I'm, a, I'm always gonna be the baby. Yeah, you will right? always be the baby. On the newspapers, I'm still the baby. Sure, mm -hmm. you'll always be the baby. Yeah, so baby on the base. Does that ever get tiring to be the no, baby? No, it's cute. It's kind of cute. It's cute. Yeah, yeah. Good. slap at the base. Yeah. <laughs> Josh. Hey, welcome back to our super action. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rip. This is Mohini Day. Mo. <laughs> and um. Uh, I'm, I'm thrown off by having uh, the legend right next to us, but we're going about to um, tell her how great she is again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. But uh, today we got one of you working with Air Rahman. Have you ever, you know him? <laughs> okay. Uh, this this so is funny. called Niz Din. Is that how you pronounce Niz it? Yeah. Niz Din. Niz Din, Air Rahman. Um, uh, see, these are the Ranjit Barra. Thank Jarita you. Jarita Gandhi, Antara Nandi. And jam in season two, yeah. um, and you are playing the bass in this. The bass. So, how, anybody ever like we were just talking about how great you are? You ever do something and you're working with people who trust you, like an AR, and they look at you and they're like, "Yeah, let's do it again." He's done that. Good. Actually. Yeah, I imagine he He's would. He's done that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, he asked me like, "Is there something you can't do?" To <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which you answer, no. "No." Here we go. It's so quiet. I know. Oh, that's what we'll drop down. Just the production value, I guess, of the video. Let me restart yeah. that, that beautiful bass line here. Hold on. Yeah, this was actually one of the private things. So I think it's it's supposed it was supposed to not be on YouTube and then AR put it up. There oh. were other six songs that we had recorded, but you can only find that on the app. Okay. Oh, okay. In India. Got it. Yeah. View gotcha. app. View. There we go. Ooh. I like that. 
beautiful song. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, <laughs> I'm normally just next to one musician. Now I'm next to two. So what were we all freaking out about? The, I, the, all I can say is it sounded great. Some of the choices of the chords, mm -hmm. considering the key that you're given at the beginning of the song, they shouldn't go together, mm. but they do. And it goes into the, like the harmonics of the, the notes and yeah. the choices you can make based on the chords you were at prior and why you go there. And then how, now that you're there, how are you gonna get it back? Get it back, yes. yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. Different inversions make different families and then you bring it back together with the verse. And how would you create that bridge of that transition? Right. Into and, and, and this is a pretty optimistic sounding thing too. So if you're gonna have a lot of dissonance in there, it's not gonna work if you're gonna try to do that and resolve chords. And yep. you gotta kind of keep it feeling the same. And for and, the local crowd to hear that? <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> risky. Yeah. Now, I noticed, at least I think I saw that the strings had a full arrangement that was written yes. on their chart. Yes. Did you have a full arrangement? Uh, no, I just had, so all the bass lines are mine. Okay. Uh, I was just given, like, I heard the song and I just created the chord. Charts. So rhythm section just had their, your own like yeah, one, four, five. Yeah, we were just kind of just feeling it out. Okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But you knew what was going on time signature wise and you knew it's what was going to happen. It's all full four. Yeah, it's all but four. you also knew what was going to happen in terms of... I agree. Yeah, so Maybe like, you didn't. So did you know like in measure 32, method. you're going to go to that weird chord and you had to make sure that your yeah. baseline... Okay. I'm always approaching to the next part anyways. Okay. Yeah, always. I know what's coming up in my mind when I'm on something else. Yeah. And then I'm already preparing like four bars prior mm -hmm. to going there. Yeah, but see what's crazy about that is you can do that just <laughs> without a rehearsal or sound check. Yeah, I could. That's yeah. That for me is what's the most mind-boggling instrumentally is the capacity to have that level of um it's not articulation but to be that art to know the language of music so well that you can be thrown a, com a complex musical structure that yeah, that's you've never had and you just yeah your yeah. vocabulary is just Kicks off the charts in, yeah. yeah yeah um so i asked rick this on something <clears throat> probably a week ago or so because i've never done it what do you want when you, mm. when you have an inner ear pierce? Oh, so, what do you want to hear? Right. Uh, now, this is something AR knows, actually, because he noticed this. I don't really take the click that much, although I should take, because mm. sometimes uh, when songs are starting with me, like they'll say, start right. with me, right. with the bass line, and I need the click, otherwise right. the band is going to fall apart. Right. Somehow, I am, even if I keep it like really soft, I'm able to be in time without the click. Even if you start the song? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I keep click very less, not loud at all. <laughs> and I will take uh, a lot of hi hats, uh -huh. um, a lot of kick, yeah, tongs a little bit. Um, basically, the overall drum kit in my mix and a little bit of voice. Uh, so, in situations like AR's band, I will always make sure that I have a little more than usual voice that I would like normally because you have to follow the voice. What if it right. suddenly goes to verse instead of going to bridge or something, and then you have to follow the voice, and right. if you play the changes of the bridge while she's on verse, then it'll sound like very bad, right. you know? Yeah. So you follow the voice. Yeah. Whereas um, in other situations, there are times when you have to stick to the arrangement no, one, no matter sure. what. If sure. it's a, like an album recording or something, yeah. you right. know? then the singer has to do his or her part later on and the band keeps yeah. playing the arrangement which is so funny because you have to think like she's singing or he's thinking and feel what he is not singing right. you know and it's bizarre yeah. But, but yeah there are situations like that that happens what is click uh, yeah. <laughs> metronome tempo oh there's a click in Talum. the ear Talum. in the ear yeah yeah oh i didn't know that yeah. i know what yeah, a metronome is and all that but I didn't uh, know you had it in the ear, though. Yeah, uh, okay. for bigger shows, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And do you prefer, because I know a lot of singers much prefer, like if they have an in-ear monitor, they'll take an ear out because they just want to be able to I hear do. it. Yeah. I do. Yeah. You, do you prefer having, like I saw you had more of a studio session headphone on for this. That one, yes, yeah. because I had no cabinet or head amp on okay. there. So it okay. was all in here. Okay, so yeah, you had to have had that. To. But if you had your full setup with you, then you I just do a single. Yeah, one. like for live shows yeah. where they are, I keep one open. Yeah. yeah. And I take horns very less. So. Mm. <laughs> 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 but that's exactly what we were talking about. Depending upon what instrument you are, you're going to want more of one thing versus another. Yeah, so I'll say this though. Um, when they play, so Dallas Horns plays in ARs yeah. band, right? Uh, I take him louder and the other softer. 
Because I like tenor yeah. more than the Oh, so it isn't just a preferential treatment because it's your husband. It's the actual <laughs> instrument. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, oh, no, no, oh, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, well, that was awesome. Yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, once again, if you'd like to check out Mohini, you can follow her on Instagram, follow her YouTube page, check out what she's got going on. All those links are in the description below. I wish you had your bass. You could play us out. Right. There's, there's going to be stupid babies mad at us that we didn't have you bring your bass in. Please. Oh, we, no. we interviewed Trey so uh and people got upset that we didn't ask her to sing. But here in America, you don't ask what a legend to just ask. They get paid for that. Yeah. <laughs> She's wouldn't like, yeah, I agree. Right. It would be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, <clears throat> now I would not sing because I had COVID like one and a half weeks ago. Mm. And it kind of messed up with my voice mm. for some reason. My voice is not Which usually this low. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. My voice is usually not this low. Okay. So it's kind of so I'm actually not singing any vocal songs for mm. my shows now. Mm. I'm only doing my Konako stuff, but yeah. I was gonna sing like two to three songs for the shows, but I'm not now not singing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would have sung a little bit, but I don't want to be That's all right. down yeah. in the just have a show section. Up in Los Angeles. Don't show me, to, uh, please. <laughs> well, you could out. you could just air bass it, and he could provide <laughs> yeah, the yeah. sounds. Go ahead, okay. do it. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh, sorry. I, I thought you wanted me to input it later. I'm just going to input Nothing. the Seinfeld riff. <laughs>